Okay, you guys, so it's getting messy between Stunner Girl and her husband, Young Moolah. So these two are not getting along. They're not seeing eye to eye. They're broken up. Now, this all started when Stunner Girl ended up getting shot, and she claimed that he allegedly took off running, started crying, and called her brother. She felt like he left her for dead, and ever since then, she's been blasting him. She's even got on live with her friends who said that he tried to hit on them. Now, these are not female friends. Friends. these are her gay male friends so she's allegedly exposing him for being gay she's blasting him for having a colostomy bag because he ended up getting shot but he's not taking it laying down he's blasting her too he posted this on his ig stories be for real you was on my d my husband this my husband that begging for db i barely wanted to f you because that ish really stank Tell them how you can't have kids because you got so many STDs. That mother effing box dead, B. All them week A tattoos is cover-ups for every pimp you paid. Be for real. I'm the real true moolah, B. Been breaking bees before you even seen a hundred. This money-ish ain't new to me. Now, these two have been going back and forth on IG for days, putting things in their stories. They're exposing text messages, calling each other druggies. Whatever to make the other person look bad, that's what they're doing. I mean, he even even posted her dirty underwear and she posted a video of him when he was younger saying that he wanted to give some head. Hello, this is Trevor. I'll suck your dick. Or, mind show how to have Now, also to add into the conflict between these two, these two started a network called Red Rum together, but they're fighting over a reality show called Stunner Girls Bel Air. Now, she's saying that that's her show, that's her name that she trademarked. So if you don't know, the show is basically like a reality show, I guess like Baddies East or whatever. But he's saying like, no, I own the whole network. The network is in my name, so those are my episodes and that's my show. They're a mess, but they're not done. He ended up going live, talking crap about her, and in return, she went live exposing him. So you guys take a listen and let me know what do you think. But that's all I have for you, and I'll talk to you later. You don't never, you don't never, ever air out your family, health, shit, past. I ain't never had no infections, none of that. Yeah, I was on the bag. I got shot four times. Blood down there died. Yeah, I did have one. I was still here. And guess what? She was she was sleeping in the bed with her every night, eating his dick with that motherfucker right on the top of her head on my grandma. That motherfucker could push me all the way to my breaking point, and I'm still only going to come on here and clear my name up and not say too much. You know what I'm saying? Wait, I'm a gangster. You ain't finna take my street credibility away from me. We ain't doing none of that. Nah, we ain't finna paint them images. We ain't finna talk about my old, my past health problems. Um, when I lost weight, all that. That's weak shit. You 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 gotta be dealing with something brazier. You feel me? You gotta be dealing with something real deep. We ain't finna do all that. So at the end of the day, you know, when me and Stunner got together, ain't have shit going on, gang. I'm gonna just put it to you like that. Shows went from 3,500 to 20,000 to 25,000 to 30,000. I was a part of that process. Independent tours, yeah, me and my people put, some, put them together. You know what I'm saying? Them shows, all that. For me, I got, I got receipts, bro. I just don't be caring to. In the me. pad, we at my house. I don't even know, I don't know how to do Airbnb. That is crazy. Like what? That is crazy. That is literally, that is literally a Uber. Who's a who's in a Uber? Like we ain't, bro. They told me I was in a Uber. Like y'all believe anything? I know her fan base is full of twelve and thirteen year old kids. If you any older than that, you can go read a book. Y'all keep trying to troll. Y'all can't troll me. I ain't crying. Never been gay, blood. I ain't never been a fan. None of that shit hurt my feelings, gang. I mean, yeah, she's a CEO of what? She's not even claiming she the CEO of the network she over there with. You can't be a CEO if you don't got the uh, the brain for it. This is not a peanut game, man. This ain't a peanut brain game, man. Ask some 
to read a full book to you on live. <laughs> Ask them to read a paragraph to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't judging them when they could fucking eat without having a pill in their mouth. <laughs> I ain't never judged nobody. So it just, you know, y'all want to know the tea. That's how the episode got out. It got stolen. It's a cease and desist order on the way. Don't worry about it. And everybody involved, every agency, production team. Yeah. Facts. I got shit that really, boy. But I'm not even that petty, though. Just keep my name out your mouth. Keep my name out your mouth. Keep my network out your fucking mouth. Stay out. Keep out. Young Rich Moolah out your mouth. Facts. And we damn, damn show sure ain't on no gay shit. Show ain't on no weirdo time, and we ain't tripping off nobody. Everybody carry on, don't have fun. If you happy, go be happy. Why you still worried about me? Why you still talking about me? Everybody know this shit. I ain't said nothing to this bitch until she brought my name up. You keep bringing my fucking name up every day. You lying on rappers, acting like you my homies. You never did. Like you, you, you just mad. Just be mad. Be mad. But be mad in your own miserable world. Like, that. If I can't read, why isn't it in an interview saying, my wife put me in position. I didn't know when I got out of prison, she had her own record label and I had no motion. And, but I don't know how to read. Okay. You don't have no lawyer. Who's your lawyer, bro? want to argue with me all day because he's a female i promise y'all what real gangster what real sit up and go back and forth with a female all day bro i don't touch you i ain't touched you in a very long time and these bitches that you have they've been around for a year and some change it's time you start telling the truth okay like i don't touch you i have not touched you i wouldn't touch you you fucking stink you don't take showers. Your stomach is infected. Like, what in her right mind would literally touch that? Like, I'm really trying to understand something. And I'm still sparing it, bro. I'm scared. <laughs> because y'all need to ask him what really happened the day that I got shot. Ask him that. When y'all can come back with a clear answer, let me fucking know, okay? Because if I told y'all the whole story and the full story... Blood will be canceled. I promise you. I fucking promise you. Like, sit on the toilet constipated. He literally got to sit. He literally got to turn his body around and sit on the toilet and literally scream until the shit comes out. Like, clean out your fucking asshole. Why do you have a colostomy bag on and you're still out your ass? You just started to your ass. You don't even get up to anybody. If it's getting up now, it's because you're taking some type of drug for it. You do too many drugs. You don't know if you're nodding off, if you're staying up all night. But you have no life outside of me. Nobody knows you. You had 800 followers. You didn't have shit going on. You were hitting cheap lips, licks and panhandling hookers for money. Like you're doing the one you got right now because you don't have no money going on. When you did have a little bit of money going on, I took the money. And my little brother took the whole operation. The whole Oakland took the whole operation. LA took the whole operation. The whole Chicago took the whole And it wasn't even your operation. But you didn't even get a fucking cut. So you don't have no money stacked up. Um, when I put the notice in, in that house... You were in a basically in a, ba a vacant, abandoned house, and you guys were squatting. Like, I could post a Texas from the agent. You're not even on the lease. Can you post the lease? No, you can't. You keep talking all this legal shit, but you don't have no lawyer. Where is your lawyer, Bo? Like, you've never even had a conversation with an entertainment lawyer. You act like you're beefing with YG, but when me and YG did a song, your scary ass has his hood whacked out on your face. That FT and the whacked out T and the P, that's YG's hood whacked out on his face. He did not get in the camera. He was scared to even show his face. Y'all want to know the real T why I didn't do the video shoot with YG? Because this scary bitch. <laughs> Fuck. And this bitch try to act like he didn't want to do the video. And the whole time the homie wanted to do the video, but... My work phone is the phone he stole. So he was answering the phone, playing games, and doing all that weird shit. Two, 
you bought his merch. You went to the store and you bought YG's merch, but he's your op. He does not know you, bro. Then he don't know you and you were scared to put your a face in the camera. Hold on. You was trying to fuck with my boy besties. Let's just be for real, gang. And you know, I didn't care because it's not like I was you. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Pull your shirt up. You lie so much, you won't even pull that motherfucker up. Pull it up. Until you pull that shirt up, nobody's going to believe shit you're saying. You don't got no motion. You're broke as shit. Like, broke. Like, dead broke. When I left the house, I checked that account, and you got left with $600. Tell the real reason why you was on there crying. Tell the real reason why you was on there crying, gang. 